Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install my timing system. So first what you need to do before doing anything is make sure that filtering enabled is on. So you go to workspace, then make sure filtering enabled is checked. And then what you have to do is move this green part over here to the start finish line of your racing track. You also need to make sure that this part extends from one side to the track to another, including the off-road so people can't drive around it. In my case, I don't have a pit lane or a right side barrier, so I'm just going to extend it to a certain point where I can assume that people won't drive around it. Then we take the sector one part, as you can see in the workspace, and we move it to roughly one third of the track or the end of the first sector in racing terms. And then we take the sector 2 part and we move it to roughly two thirds of the track. And once again, just like the start part, make sure to extend this part from one side to the other side of the whole track. And finally, we've got this corner cutting part over here. You can move this corner cutting part to any part of the track where you don't want people to cut corners in order to get a better lap time than they're supposed to get by corner cutting. Now we've placed our transparent parts where we need to place them, you can go ahead and make them invisible like so. And make sure that all those parts are anchored and non can collidable. And then you can move this bolt and the model, make sure to have both selected. You can move it wherever you want it to have it placed. So for in my instance, I'm just going to move it to here. And finally, what we need to do is take this timing GUI over here and move it to the starter GUI down here. And that's it, now you can use the timing system for whatever you want. But one more thing you should know about the timing system is you can give certain people powers to reset the timing system while in a server. How you can do this is you go to the timing GUI, you open it, and open the mod list over here. And as you can see right over here, here's a list of people who can reset the timing system in a server. So, so what you want to do here is add your name right here or you remove someone else's name. And as you can see right here, I just set a lap time and it shows up on the timing system. And as you can see down here, there's a button which allows you to raise all existing lap times, which in my case, I have the power to do that. So you click the button, by the way, you have to hold in order to view this GUI over here to make it visible and then you click reset in order to reset the timer and as you can see the timer has been reset and one more thing you should know about the timing system is you do not change any of the part or model names otherwise it might break the timing system that's it for this video thank you for watching and enjoy using the timing system goodbye